Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Tuesday, the third day of January, the fifth day of Teves. Here we go. Uh, we are now putting the laws of Hanukkah behind us. I'm going to pick up back where we were several weeks ago, which was with the laws of a Kohen and how we honor a Kohen. If you're at a wedding and you're looking for who to give the honor to of the Hamotzi, you have some Kohanim there, but you also have the Chassan, the groom, so the Chassan comes first. He is the one to make Hamotzi. It is his Simcha, and he uh, trumps excuse that word, he trumps the Kohanim in that situation and he gets to make the bracha over the hamotzi, over the challah for the whole wedding. Um, when a Kohen sits at a table at a wedding, so the Kohen, if possible, is served before the other people at the table, the Kohen is the one who gets to bench um, in general at most normal meals. I'm not talking about a wedding now, but in general, a Kohen is the one who gets to lead the benching if there's no Talmud Chacham. If the Kohen is ignorant and there's a big Talmud Chacham there, then the big Talmud Chacham comes first. Um, if there's a Talmud Chacham who's a Yisrael, he knows how to learn Torah, and the Kohen also knows some Torah, but the Yisrael knows more Torah than him, then officially the Yisrael does get the honor of uh, leading the benching, but it's still a very nice thing for him to graciously give the honor to the Kohen, and if the Yisrael does that, then his reward is longevity in his life. So that is still a very beautiful thing to do. Again, the, the Yisrael who knows more Torah than the Kohen could officially come first, but it's a nice thing when he gives that honor over to the Kohen. Um, when a Baal Bayis, a, a guy who owns the, the home, the meal, the everything, so he really could come before everybody if he so chooses. But if there's a Kohen there and he chose to lead the benching instead of the Kohen, he should say Brishus HaKohen with the permission of the Kohen. It would be nice if he would actually get the permission of the Kohen instead of just announcing it. Um, if two people come to ask a question to a rabbi, a Yisrael and a Kohen, the Kohen gets to ask his question first. Um, if the Kohen is walking together with you and you're Yisrael, the Kohen walks on the right. That's how we give him honor. If three people are walking, two are Yisraelim and one is Kohen, then Kohen walks in the middle. That's how we give him honor. Um, if you're giving speeches at a something or other and you have three speeches listed, the Kohen speech comes first. That's another way that we give honor to the Kohen, and that's a mitzvah from our Torah to honor the Kohen. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.